What's the most disgusting thing you've seen someone do with no shame? My drinking partner I once knew was very much a shock and all kind of fella. He would come out with the most insane stuff but was incredibly funny and intelligent. My opinion changed on the last adjective when he went to the men's room and came out with one of the yellow urinal cakes that helped keep the piss stench down. He put it in his mouth and ate it. To this day I don't know how way he did it but it was just really weird and disgusting. First that comes to mind, working at a casino, there was this one lady who smoked so much, she complained the servers weren't bringing her new ashtrays often enough, started ashing on her tongue. One time I watched her put out a cigarette butt on the machine, then fucking eat it. Did some work at a train station a while ago. One morning the station master called me into the office, where they were reviewing the CCTV footage from the night before. Saw a woman walk up to the drinking fountain, hitch up her dress, straddle the fountain and proceed to wash her vagina right there in the fountain while the other commuters watched on. Haven't touched a public fountain since. I saw this guy get up in the middle of a bus ride multiple times and switched seats. I noticed he smelled urine, and when he got off I noticed all the seats he sat on were moist wet. He also took out a big tub of Vaseline during the ride and slathered his entire face and neck with it. Smoke electrical tape, the black plastic stuff. Rolled a small cigarette sized tube and two guys smoked it, lit it, blew out the flame, and inhaled over and over. They rolled a giant cone right after. Me and another buddy told them that we couldn't believe they were smoking tape. They laughed and said they couldn't believe we weren't. Quite disgusting. Saw a customer at work sneeze into his hand full of change and give it to my co-worker. I didn't have time to warn her though. Mill uses her own hair to floss. While at the dinner table. Kid in middle school ran and dove into super long trough urinal, slid down it baseball style the whole length. It was my uncle's wedding day and his wife was just getting ready to walk down the aisle. One of the guests in the wife's family decided to stand up and show off his Johnson. There were kids there and he got kicked out trying to play it off as a joke. Pick little cotton balls or whatever it was from under their sweaty arm cast and eat it. At a music festival, walking past a garbage bin, my buddy walks up to it to throw something in. He looks inside, bends in. Comes out again holding half a kebab and goes look at what people throw away and proceeds to eat it. E, you fucking legend. I watched a middle-aged man take his shoes off and clip his toenails onto the floor in a waiting area at Logan Airport. From the phone conversation he was having at the same time, it appeared that he was a mental health professional. I lived in San Francisco for 17 years. I've seen homeless people giving getting blow jobs, shitting on the sidewalk, shooting up. Etc. saw a guy go up to a flock of pigeons, somehow managed to grab one, and seemingly break its neck. Visiting San Francisco for the first time in my life. We were walking down a busy, crowded street just outside of the city center when I saw a homeless dude sneak into an open stairwell to pinch one off in the corner. I didn't mean to stare. I just couldn't help it. Well. Homie caught me looking, made eye contact, smiled. Wiped with his bare hand and flicked the leavings in my direction before wiping the rest off in his hair. Thanks, SF. I hardly knew you. I was in Japan at a strip club. I walk into the bathroom and as I turn to a stall I see a naked Japanese man furiously beating off and hysterically laughing. Disgusting, but funny as hell. I made the situation even better by telling my friends a stripper was in the bathroom giving dudes blow jobs. They obviously jump up and run in there. Seconds later. The screams ensued. Was friends with someone until they decided to go rob a homeless shelter. They were bragging for months. Several years ago, I lived in an apartment in a low crime, decent part of Seattle. Looked out my fifth floor window to see someone in the alley below us, pull down their pants, pull a pipe and a baggie out of his butt, fill the pipe, and proceed to smoke it. I saw a drunk guy try and pee between two people on the subway onto the free seat in the middle. Whipped it out and everything. Thankfully one of the passengers nearby was a tough middle-aged black woman who wasn't about to tolerate that shit. Bless her heart, she taught him shame that day, and his pee, pee stayed in his pants until he got out at the next stop. Unarmed security guard at Walmart was wearing sweatpants and had his hand forearm deep inside scratching his dick, balls, and ass. He then removed his hand and smelled his fingers. After that he stopped an old lady to check her receipt and she ran away from him. He seemed unfazed. On my way out he asked me who would win in a fight, Xenomorph or Predator? His skin and hair was so oily it looked like he was covered in Vaseline. Saw a homeless woman in San Francisco with her pants around her ankles masturbating furiously while the crowd of people getting off work just walked around her. 
change a baby's diaper on a table in a restaurant, then get indignant when the waitress asks them to use the changing station located in the bathroom. You know, that room for poop away from where people eat. Added apparently people who put shit where food goes are a thing and they are both very proud of and very defensive about doing it. Bite the head off of a lizard and laugh. Saw a guy jacking off on a city bus right near three kids. The dad of the kids went over and literally dragged the guy to the door and threw him out the old exit while the bus was moving. He totally deserved it though. After finding that her husband had been molesting and raping me since I was a young girl, my mother made me at age 15 drive her, without a license or lessons, to see him in the ICU of the jail where he had been beaten up because prisoners don't like child molesters and also he was a weak mouthy coward. She was hysterical and crying when she returned and beat me as I drove home and said I don't know why you're being so vindictive, all you lost was your virginity that's one of the worst, but I've got more. I left home at 16. I can't really say no shame here since the person was homeless, but I was in NYC and saw a man eating a live rat on the subway. The way the rat screamed was horrible and I don't know why he didn't just kill it first if he had to eat it. Use kids as tools in divorce or child support cases. Clean her phone screen by licking it. This thread really got me thinking twice about ever visiting San Francisco. I watched an old crackhead walk in the mall and shit in one of the fake flower pots. Then tried to use the water fountain as a bidet. Peoples who use their kids to be popular on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram and other. Crap wall over a toilet at work and leave it there with the back spray all over the wall. Working customer service at Walmart I once had a customer take off her very worn, very smelly shoes and put them on the counter looking for a refund because the insole in one of them was coming apart. It was a brand we hadn't even carried in 4 or 5 years. 11th grade. Miss Janet's American History class. I watched my 6 blonde crush peel the sunburned skin off the back of my 5 feet 1 inch brunette crush, and fucking eat it, vomiting face, vomiting face, vomiting face, vomiting face. I was eating dinner with a friend and saw in full adult touching a visibly uncomfortable child's thigh. This is more funny than disgusting I guess, seen an older woman shit on the sidewalk on Germantown Ave, fall in it, then just laid there in defeat. It's sad looking back on it, but it was funny at the time for how random it was. Bra I was just gonna say I knew a guy back in uni that would sometimes leave the bathroom after a piss without washing his hands, but the answers here are mental. Looked out at the teacher's face while dropping a softball size shit in the urinal. Buddy of mine took his buddy to a glory hole for his birthday. Dude seriously thought it was a woman on the other side of that hole. He blew his load and walked out with a smile on his face. Okay, not like four days ago, as tourist in India, stopping at a highway for a pee break. Go to the toilet, take a piss. On my way to wash my hands I see the dudes not just one washing their dicks in the sink. Had to just leave and use sanitary wipes instead. WTF. I was living in China where every expat food item is expensive. We had some guest over one evening US expats and I purchased a brand new $10 bottle of salad dressing. He opened it, put some on his salad, then licked the whole rim of the bottle and put it back on the table. My husband and I looked at each other in complete disgust. Who the fuck does that? Had a former coworker send me a full upskirt snap of a corpse out of the blue. He and his coworkers, their EMTs or paramedics, don't remember which were taking pics with it so I received another of him and it holding hands. I no longer associate with him because what the fuck. My buddy overheard this gem of a conversation. Lady was on the phone in the supermarket in front of him. He only heard her side. He assumed it was the lady friend on the other side. Lady uh huh. Uh huh. Well, if he doesn't give me what I want in the divorce I'll say he molested the kids. Witness the neighbor's kid put his hand in his crack dig around for a bit and smell it. He even waved at me with the same hand. A guy walked into the restaurant I was working in, tried to open the door going to the storeroom and realized it wasn't a bathroom. He then proceeded to pee on the door right in front of people eating at the table near it then walked out. I was having some bongs with a friend a year or so back and my stepdad bought some friends over for some R&R. One of his mates who we will call Drongo asked me if he could have a cone and I then said that was okay. Drongo then rips his cone looks at me then proceeds to drink the very dirty bong water like it was a normal thing to do. Never saw Drong go again after that awkward encounter. Eat cigarette butts. My Bill let his dog sleep with him in his bed. While she was in heat. He did it for months. Blood was all over the mattress, even on his pillow. Had a dog I had to groom who was sick with cancer. 
I noticed she wasn't acting right, I called the owner to let her know that I was concerned the dog needed to go to the vet due to her illness. The owner did not show concern instead she said oh well, she will be clean when she dies. Still haunts me.